Hi everyone, it is Isadora back again, and today I am going to talk about the Athame. I recently sold one of my most sacred Athames off to a very, very special person, and so she, of course, requested a little bit of a how-to with the Athame. So, the Athame is a ceremonial black-handed blade of the witch, and in that it can be any kind of witch, you don't have to be any specific kind, that's okay. And it's basically been used since ancient times for witchcraft. Now, obviously, previously it was a lot easier to obtain a black-handled blade of some variety, whereas it's a bit harder now. You can obviously go down to the shops and get yourself any kind of standard black-handled kitchen knife. However, the athame is going to be a bit more sacred than that, I'm afraid. So it's now a symbolic blade. It's not necessarily sharp or anything like that. It's more... It's not really used to cut anything physical, but instead it's more of a ritualistic one. Um, if you need a physical blade for any of your witchcraft, something to actually cut with, um, then you'd have to use a baleen. And so a baleen is one of the curved blades that you tend to see, and they tend to have a wooden or a white handle. And they're the ones that we actually use for physically cutting something. Now, the athame itself can have a blade that's carved from bone, steel, or in my case, I use a lot of crystals. And it must have the ele some element of black on its handle. This is just part of its sort of sacred and very protective nature. So it's got to have something black there. So it might have a jeweled hilt or pommel. So maybe the main hilt of it is jeweled, has some crystals in it, or the end roundy bit. The pommel has something interesting in it. And these tend to be sort of crystals that are very sacred to the user. So that's where a lot of sort of custom blades do come in. So the users of the uses, sorry, of an athme tend to be quite wide and varied. Um, a lot of them seem to be a little bit interchangeable with the wand, which you'll discover as we go along. But most of the time, like, one tends to use an athme for these pur purposes. So. First of all, one of the first uses of an athame is that of casting a circle. Now, this is the most basic component of witchcraft, because a circle is literally cast for you to fulfill any ritual within. So it's a very, very protective aspect, and it stops anything getting out, and it stops anything from getting in and attacking you, while you're pretty vulnerable and open to various energies. So one uses an athame in this situation to actually point out the circle as they're turning and that actually then creates that circle of energy around you. Uh, the athame is actually also used to uncast the circle. So obviously this is one of the things that's really used as one of the first aspects of witchcraft just because prior to you doing anything witchy you do need to learn how to protect yourself. The next main com most common use of an athame is to trace either a pentagram, which is the five-sided star, or um, any like symbols for the ritual. A lot of people will use it to sort of um, to do uh, sigils and things, so you can actually trace it out over whatever you're working on, um, or trace it over something that you're blessing or consecrating in that way you would then use your athame to actually point it out. This is one of those ones that you can also use a wand for, but an athame gives it a certain kick, especially if it's for something that's supposed to be quite protective or strong and used almost as a weapon, in a way. Uh, the other method that it's used for is casting the corners or invoking the elements, which is where I'm sure most of us will have seen the craft, where they have to like invoke each of the elements in turn. However, this is more done on a personal level. So one would actually point out each of the elements themselves as they're going around the circle. Um, the athame, be, athame will be used to like point out each corner while chanting to invoke each of the cardinal points, each of the elements, or even the various creatures of that element, which we will go into later on. Cutting ties is one of the other main users of the athame, and cutting ties is actually one of the ones that I think is kind of most important. And so this is where it's really, really specialised for the athame alone. It is all about cutting emotional or metaphysical ties. So if you think you have been cursed or 
you need to cut ties with somebody um, on a more magical level, then you're physically, well, metaphysically, using your athame to cut those ties and to really sever the link between things. As a result, this is really, really strongly connected to the protective nature of the athame, which is then obviously enhanced by having a black handle. Some of you might also wish to meditate with your athame. I find this really beneficial because it actually helps to strengthen the connection between you and your sacred tool. Um, I actually say to do it with almost any sacred tool because that just makes it so, makes you have such a stronger re relationship with whichever tool it is. So these are just some of the most basic uses of an athame. You may find that you actually develop a lot of different ways personally that actually come up that you feel that you should use it for. And I say totally go for it. That's absolutely fine. Um, most of your own path literally is that. It's your own path. So if you feel your athame needs to be used for a different purpose, feel free to do it. Just remember that the athame is very much a ceremonial blade. So it must be treated with an adequate amount of respect and care. They do tend to get very, very sensitive about these things. A lot of sacred tools do. So it's best to like, you know, cleanse it regularly, give it a very, very special place upon your altar. So make sure that it's in like a really nice sheath or it's wrapped up in a really beautiful piece of material, something that feels really natural and really nice to you. It's just really about making sure that it feels as special as it is and you respect it as being as special as it is. So it comes from both ends in that way. So thank you for listening to my quick talk on the Athame. If you've got any other questions, absolutely let me know. Otherwise, I am actually currently taking orders for custom sacred tools. So if you are looking for something specific or with specific stones and the like, let me know and I will be making a couple of sacred tools coming up soon. So check out the website, I'll add the links in below, check out the Facebook, all of that as usual. Um, and yeah, hit me up. Alrighty, thank you very much for listening. Catch you later.